Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we will discuss about the module 3, model questions for subject biology for engineers. So the need sketch explain the architecture of brain versus uh, CPU. So architecture of brain you need to draw and architecture of CPU also you need to draw. Uh, this will carry one mark each because that is uh, the question is placed uh, based on this architecture only and then you have to explain <coughs> what is been compared to what. Okay. So that's how it starts. Uh, you can just uh, see here architecture of brain. Here and here it starts. Just I explain these two points. Draw this. Draw this. This uh, just <coughs> yeah. In brain, major components are neurons and synapses. Here, similarly, the neuro uh, computing cells will act as a neurons. The memory cell will act as a synapses. That means neurons will are the responsible for the memory or the, the kind of actions or whatever you have to take that the neurons will trigger it but connection has to be done by the synapses only when it connects one neuron to another neuron connects the communication happens so that is called as synapses <coughs> similarly in memory that is what memory cell which in <coughs> cpu if you have time you can draw this any one of this diagram is enough to explain it okay so next we are having the uh, compare both brain and cpu based on their functions five marks again based on their functions we need to compare that is the first topic uh, here basic comparison is there that means function <coughs> brain and computer so basic function construction if you are comparing neurons and synapses here it will be the same work function will be done by the ic's transistors diodes capacitors transistor etc similarly for memory growth backup all those things it will be we need to compare with brain with around 10 points will be there so 10 to 12, 5 marks you will get <coughs> next question discuss about cns and pns with a need sketch 5 marks again uh, how to discuss about what is cns and pns here one marks will be there for this and diagram will carry one mark cns 2 mark pns 2 marks okay you can uh, give this uh, diagram also instead of the previous diagram these two diagrams okay so depending on the marks you write so if it is asked for 10 marks, all diagrams you put or else you just two diagrams explain to two points over. Yes, only for five marks. Next, uh, illustrate, uh, uh, explain and illustrate about signal transmission. So how exactly signal transmission occurs in the brain? That has to be explained. So see, this diagram plays a very important role. Explanation carries two marks, diagram carries two marks. And finally, the conclusion carries one mark. Same thing goes for EEG. Then you sketch, explain about EEG. EEG is also is having uh, the around three four points <coughs> one mark each the one diagram one mark and applications or this diagram we can put as a one mark next we are having uh, with a need sketch explain uh, or discuss about robotic arms for prosthetics five marks so robotic arms for prosthetics are again a very important application of uh, 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 this biological biology for engineering so you can expect uh, this question so introduction one mark direct uh, control or brain machine interface two things are there both will carry one or two two marks each one mark explanation one mark diagram next we are having uh, the discuss about cns pns that is done sorry we have we are here now. so enumerate engineering solutions for uh, <coughs> Parkinson thesis. Now, what is Parkinson thesis? You need to elaborate it. That will carry one mark. Next, there are around five different applications are there. All the five different applications you can mention. So, we give you one mark each. <coughs> Next, uh, illustrate the uh, and explain about bionic eye with a need sketch. Uh, how much marks? Five marks. Bionic eye. So, we are having the eye as a camera here under this bionic eye will come somewhere yes here introduction one mark materials used will have around two marks and then <coughs> finally these diagrams will carry <coughs> all the marks other three marks next uh, we are having the discuss about optical corrections and cataracta so optical correction will have two marks let me optical corrections cataracta will, will will have five marks and optical corrections will have five marks here we are having three conditions 
explain that one marks each introduction one mark conclusion one mark five marks contractor introduction two marks and uh, diagram one mark and uh, the conclusion two marks easy next we are having with the need to explain about the architecture uh, explain the architecture of the eye so we are having both the uh, rods and cones see architecture it start from here okay rods and cone cells both will have 2.5 marks each uh, for okay for this is 10 marks 10 marks in the sense 5 marks each but we have to explain everything all the diagrams here general two di diagrams explanation that will carry 5 marks and finally this diagram also need to be explained that was about i next speaking about the heart <coughs> i guess so so yeah explain the architecture of the heart and explain the heart so everybody know what is the architecture of we are having the four chambers right so the, since high school we are studying the heartbeat what is heartbeat how exactly the work uh, the blood pumps that you have to explain that will be for five marks next uh, uh, describe electrical signaling ecg and, and monitoring that is you know all of you know how the ecg electrocardiogram that's how it is done okay explain diagram two marks three conditions three marks five marks next <coughs> designer sorry uh, blockage of heart uh, blood vessels so this is all the questions might come for all the topics so this is also around seven reasons are there you can give any five reasons design of stents introduction then diagram will carry two marks and how exactly it will be used three marks for diagram okay introduction and conclusion two marks next uh, about pacemaker and the need sketch okay so pacemaker is there what is pacemaker what is its function how exactly it works that's it and this diagram so that my can be asked for 10 marks also just well, uh, carefully read the question and read it so this has been asked for 10 marks next brain as cpu the whole detail you have to explain from the beginning i as camera and heart as the this thing you can explain it in general by taking few topics so especially focus on the structure and function <coughs> it does not explain about the uh, heart related uh, issues and stunt that this and all okay so next i write a short note on gas exchange mechanism of lung so now that is the shifting to the lungs so lungs how exactly it will act as a how exactly this uh, purification system it helps you need to explain that okay so here gas exchange mechanism pi mars somewhere here gas exchange yes gas exchange mechanism of lung oxygen diffusion carbon dip, uh, or dioxide diffusion two mars is introduction one mark next spirometry explain what is spirometry usually spirometry in a sense is to check the uh, whether the our lung is working or not or amount of the flow of the air okay we have to just uh, uh, with the help of this you uh, blow uh, once you blow it and depending on your uh, how much value it takes or air value due to <coughs> what lung capacity will be determined next we are having the abnormal lung physiology so abnormal lung physiology is one of the condition where uh, uh, chronic obstructive pulmonary disorder what we call that will be there so here it is copd you can explain this you can explain this for 10 marks or 5 marks depending on the uh, marks you have to reduce here it is mentioned for 5 marks next explain about the ventilators mentioned all of you know nowadays what are ventilators right at least and after the covid everybody knows okay this diagram is try to draw this diagram if it is not uh, feasible just you uh, you just explain the theoretical approach that is also fine <coughs> it's heart lung machine a uh, very important question and uh, i hope you can expect this question heart lung machine introduction you exactly have to see uh, you might have heard open heart surgery or kind of stuff <coughs> or any uh, where the heart related heart has to be stopped during the function so the these values will be cut from here and here and that will be connected to these heart lung machines so we all know that the oxygen uh, blood needs oxygen that oxygen we get, we are getting it from the lungs right <coughs> so for that uh, we need to have connection between the lungs and the heart so during this time we are having a machine which is being developed by the scientists that is heart lung machines will be used during the open heart surgeries 
नेक्स्ट वी आर हैविंग द किडनी आर्किटेक्चर ऑफ किडनी मैकेनिज्म ऑफ किडनी यूर इन्फॉर्मेशन सी के डी एंड डायलिसिस सिस्टम्स so depending on the marks you just read uh, what is kidney introduction and this thing architecture is there it is asked for you write all these things mechanism of your information very simple if you understand this diagram is more than enough next what is the disease that is ckd so ckd is nothing but chronic kidney disease next finally the dialysis system so that is how you can answer the question depending on the marks that is the end of the module 3 so if you want uh, to complete marks all the 29 questions should be and should uh, <coughs> should be studied if you want just passing marks at least the 15 to 16 questions you have to study if you if this module is a option for you like other easier modules you have studied and uh, i need only passing marks uh, three modules prop, uh, i have studied completely and this module only highlighted questions i want to study then it go with the highlighted uh, questions okay which are more uh, important okay do not skip the highlighted questions then module 4 we will discuss in the next class